This video tutorial by Brighter Graphics will help you discover how to annotate a PDF document using Bluebeam Revu, a market-leading PDF annotation and document management tool. Let's see how to start annotating using Review 21. After opening Bluebeam Revu, add the PDF you want to annotate from the file menu. Here, you can open a new PDF or the recently used files. Let's open a recently used PDF document to start annotating. After opening a PDF, go to the navigation bar at the bottom of your workspace. Here you can select the pan tool or the shortcut keys Shift plus V to navigate the document. Or you can use the select tool with an arrow symbol or by using the shortcut V to select your desired annotations on the drawing. Before starting annotation, ensure that your Snap to Content feature is enabled on the navigation bar. Now, go to the Tools option at the top and under the Markup dropdown, Select the Cloud Plus markup to see how it works. To apply your first markup, use the scroll button on your mouse to zoom to the desired drawing region. Then click and drag the cursor to apply a markup over a rectangular region. Hover your cursor and click where you want to place the text box. Now simply type to annotate with your desired text or instructions. If you click within the markup region, it will be selected so you can change its properties using the Markup Editor bar at the top. You can use the Select tool to select your markup and change its dimensions by adjusting the markup handles at each corner. Let's use the Markup Editor and start by changing the font style of our markup. You can also change the font size as well as the font color from the Markup Editor. Let's change the text color to black. And here it is. Let's change the markup style by changing the color of its boundary line to yellow. Hover your cursor over the arrow at the corner of the markup editor to scroll horizontally and set the line color to yellow. Now go to the fill color and change that to the yellow too. The drawing text has now disappeared. Don't worry, you can decrease the opacity to make it visible. You can also change the color of the markup to a text line. There are various other properties that you can explore on your own. Now, deselect the markup by clicking on a random drawing region beyond its boundary. Then, zoom out and select the pan tool to navigate to another drawing region. Let's apply the Cloud Plus markup on a non-rectangular region. Select the Cloud Plus markup from the Tools menu or use its shortcut key K to select. Don't click and drag to apply Cloud Plus on a non-rectangular region. Simply click and release the click to mark individual anchor points for your markup. If you hold the Shift key while applying anchor points, it will draw the sides only parallel to the axis of coordinates or at 45 degrees. Double click while marking the last anchor point to complete the selection. Now, type to add the text for annotation. You can also set your markup or annotation status to make your workflows more transparent and sequential. To do so, right-click the markup and go to the status option in the menu. Here, you have multiple statuses that you can set for review, migration, or issues. Let's set the status to pending issue, and the color of the markup will change to the default status color to help your team recognize and filter. In the markups list at the bottom, you can see the details of your markups, including the status and comments under the separate columns. The markups list provides all the necessary details of your markups all in one place. You can also enable or disable different columns in your markup list based on your requirements. Or manage columns to turn them on or off permanently and create custom columns for measurements. Turn down the markups list and go to another drawing region to see how the measurement tool works in Bluebeam Review. You can select your desired measurements from the measurement panel in the panel bar on the left. In the measurements panel, you have various tools to measure length, polyline, area, and diameter. You also have angle, radius, and volume measurements for more advanced measurements that you can use to mark up engineering or technical drawings.
Let's use area measurement to see how it works. Just ensure that you have calibrated your drawing for accurate measurements. Apply the area by clicking and dragging a rectangle or marking individual anchor points for irregular regions. If you click and drag the area label with the select tool, it will move the entire area region. So press the shift key with a click only to drag the label and place it in your desired region. Ensure your area markup is selected and now go back to the measurements panel, scroll down and change its unit of measurement to match your desired system of units. Let's change it to square meter. Here, it is changed from square feet to square meters. If you go to the markups list, you will see your area measurement will start reflecting under the markups list with the subject area measurement. You can also use the magnitude of your area for other calculations, estimations, and quantification using custom columns. Let's move towards PDF editing tools available in Bluebeam Review. Under the edit option at the top, you can take screenshots of your desired drawing region using the snapshot tool. Then click Ctrl plus V to paste the screenshot that you can resize or hover to place anywhere on your drawing. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo the action. Now go back to the edit menu and under the PDF content option, you can also choose to cut or erase content and select or edit text on your PDF. Let's opt for the edit text option to see how it works. If you edit the text, the entire PDF will turn gray except for the text, which you can edit just like a text editor. Make your desired changes and hit the select button from the navigation bar to make it permanent. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo the changes. You can share your annotated PDF with your team members or invite them to Bluebeam Studio to collaborate on a live drawing. This is it for now. Don't forget to read a blog in the video description to understand how to annotate a PDF and choose the right tool to make PDF annotation easier. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics.